Hi everyone. Today we will discuss classification of 100 workers according to gender and nature of work. Means we are talking about chi-square test. Where we are going to apply chi-square test, how we have to get the solution. So this is my problem statement. Here is this table is reflecting classification of 100 workers according to gender and nature of work. So we just want to test whether nature of work is independent of the gender of the workers or not. This is my hypothesis. So here is, you can see males and females. This is the gender wise. Those are skilled, 40 and females are 10. And those are unskilled, 20 males and 30 females. So when we have to check, the total would be 40 plus 10, that would be 50 and 30 and 20, 50. So total data is 100 workers still. Next, we come to the, how we are going to calculate these table values and observed values. So let us take the hypothesis that we had created this hypothesis. Let me take my pan. We have created this hypothesis. There is no association between nature of work and the gender of the workers. Means both are independent. There is no association between nature of work and the gender of the worker. That is my null hypothesis. That means they are independent. Now, what we have to do, we would calculate because this is the this is my chi-square table. You can see here. This is my observed. This is my observed frequency. This is my expected. And this is O minus E means observed minus expected. Then whole square of this. And after that, what we have to do? O minus E, observed minus expected whole square divided by expected. That means we are dividing this column to that column. This would be our numerator. That would be our denominator. And finally, we have got the, this is our the value. So, observed value is already given as per my this table. You can see 40, 20, 10, 30. This is my observed value. But what is my expected value? How we are going to calculate expected value? A simple formula we, are, we will apply here. You can see. E equal to A multiplied by B divided by N. What is A? What is B? And what is N? N we understand. N means total number of workers. What is the total number? So that is 100. But from where we have got this 60 into 50. Right. You can see this is our table. This is our table. And you can see we have taken this value from this table. Here is 40 is our, let me check from previous slide, males and females, right? These are the, I am just writing first letter, males. 10 females. And this is the total of male and female. On which category? Those are skilled. So I am just writing those are skilled. These are, these male and female are skilled. So, these are skilled. These are skilled. And uh, you can see 40 males and 10 females. So, total is 50. Then we come to the, those are unskilled. 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 These are unskilled. So, what I am going to use? 20 males and 30 females. So, again, total is 50. That has been already given. Now, what we have to do? We will get the total sum of both these columns. Male, how many total males in this sample? 60 males, 40 females because total of this, right? 10 are skilled, 30 are unskilled. So, total are 40 and total of from when we have to calculate 60 plus 40, that would be 100. When we will calculate 50 plus 50, that would be 100. Now, with the help of this table, we will calculate expected value. So, A into B means this value 
right? And multiplied by 50. That means this row total sum of row multiplied by first column total. So 60 by 50 divided by 100. So this value is 30. So expected value we have put it here 30. So rather than 40, this is observed value and this is our 30 is our expected value. Next. How we are going to calculate this? This one is how come it has been reached to 30 again? We will multiply, right? 60 multiplied by 50. So same value. That means now we will take second column, second column value, right? And but row would be same. Now, and then total is 60. Then we come to the how we have got this 20 expected value. So 10, this one is the, you can see, 40 multiplied by 50 and divided by 100. So what would be the formula? 40. Let me check through my calculator also 40 multiplied by not 40 just a moment let me erase this All right so this would be again I'm taking right 40 is the total of this row that one is the, this is the value 40 multiplied by multiplied by 50. 50 right and divided by divided by 100 and total number is 100 so what we will do 100 50 then we will divide this 100 2 and this 2 then further then that would be 20 so i'm sure you understand how we will calculate so this is our expected value for the female category but in the skill but there is only 10. Same way we are going to calculate this value right total of this 40 this is only sum I'm just writing here is sum sum so 40 and total of the 60 40 is 100 and this is the row wise sorry column wise total 50 50. so I'm sure you understand how what is the difference between observed frequency and expected frequency? Now, simply we will copy all these values from observed table 40, 10, 20, 30. Expected is 30, 20, 30, 20. You can see here 30, you can see 30, 20, 30, 20. Right? In the case, first column is reflecting a skilled labor and second column is reflecting unskilled labor. So that would be, you can see 30, 20, 30, 20. And O minus E whole square means 40 minus 30. That means 10, 10 whole square, 100. Same is here, 10 minus 20, 10 again, that is 100, right, whole square. So we will do that. And finally, we will put this formula O minus E whole square divided by E. So these are the values, 3.33. Let me, I can show you this value also through calculator mm, just a moment i just show you these values on through calculator also mm, right first of all what we have to do here is we will write mm, number one what we are doing mm, 100 o minus e whole square that is 100 100 divided by what is the value of e divided by 30 right and equal to 3.33 same value you can see here same is here let me clear all these values and here is 100 second second row we are talking about second row 100 divided by 20 right and same way you can see 5 and and these things as usual is going on and now what we have to do simply i will i'm just erasing this sum of this column 3.33 plus 5 plus 3.33 plus then 5 then let me 
expressed is 16.66 and that would be that is the that is the 16.66 the, the, the sum of this particular 16.67 that would be r value so finally what we have to say here after this how we can interpret this result chi square test value is I mean, that is the calculated value, 16.67. What is the degree of freedom? R minus 1, C minus 1. So, two rows I have and two columns. Two rows, 2 minus 1, column, 2 minus 1. So, degree of freedom would be 1. Degree of freedom would be 1. You can see it. For degree of freedom 1, when we have to check table value, chi square test at the 95% confidence interval, 0 0.05, right? 3.84, that is my table value. So, which value is greater? This value, calculated value is greater than my table value. So, what would be my interpretation? The calculated value of chi-square test is much greater than table value. Hence, the result of the experiment does not support the hypothesis. Nature of work does not seem to be independent of the gender of the workers. So, that means my null hypothesis is this test whether the nature of work is independent of the gender of the workers but that this null hypothesis is rejected. I would write here this null hypothesis is rejected. Now, you can see null hypothesis is rejected and alternate hypothesis said Nature of work is not independent of the gender of the workers. That is accepted as per my calculation. So, calculated value of chi square test is much greater than table value. Hence, the result of the experiment does not support the hypothesis. Nature of work does not seem to be independent of the gender of the workers. So, I am sure, I hope this video would be helpful to you. How to calculate chi square test. Thank you so much. Keep watching.